let's go. This is one of my favorite games of all time, ever. And I always wanted to make a, a full playthrough of this game, but I never got to do it because my computer can handle it. So it's gonna have a lot of hiccups. It's gonna slow down a lot and even might crash sometimes. But I, we're gonna do this because the sense of wonder this game gave me as a child is like not comparable to anything. But anyways, let's start the, the, the things. Okay, so let's go. Uh, since I'm planning on like doing a, a more uh, serious playthrough, I'm not gonna give myself a ridiculous name because otherwise I'm gonna get distracted and keep laughing at uh, 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 important plot points. So <clears throat> let's see if I can do some some good voices today. I brought my water today so I can do lots of voices. Let's go. You want to become a hunter? Why is he thinking about this all of a sudden? Well, I think it's a bad idea. It's a terrible, needless job. It's it's dangerous. You don't have a steady income. Most people don't have high opinion of hunters. If I had my way, your father wouldn't have become a hunter either. Okay. That's just how I feel, Yozura. Now, there's still plenty of time for you to train as a mechanic. In order to inherit the family business. I think you'd be really good at it, and not just because you're my son. So, will you try something more stable than being a hunter? This is something funny about this game. I'm not gonna do it again because I already did on my other playthrough, and you can uh, I can link it later on my on my YouTube. So if you wanna watch, but if you choose to be a hunter or rather a mechanic, the game just ends. You get a game over, and the the narrator sasses you saying that you'll never see cool shit. <laughs> and I found that very very funny. <sighs> I should have known. Just do whatever you want. Gee, I wonder who gets this stubbornness from. If you're serious, then you need to find yourself a vehicle. The only thing hunters without vehicles find is trouble. Do you know where the hunter office is? That's the first place you should go. It's across from us diagonally. At least buy some equipment, okay, honey? I mean, worries about you. Their stores next door has a convenience sign. You can mix it. And be sure to speak with Nikolai if you go to New Folk. He's a great mechanic, and he could probably teach you a few things. New Folk is pretty far to the northeast from here. I don't know how to do female voices, by the way, so sorry. Are you really going to become a hunter? It's, all, it's like you always said. Oh, I'm so jealous you're going to have such a good time. I'll be rooting for you, Yazra. Good luck. You chose the life you wanted, so you have to stick with it, understand? But if you get tired of being a hunter, you, know, can, you can always come back. This is your home after all. Nice. Well, if I'm busy now, bro. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. The game is running at like around 80% speed now, and that's gonna be a lot of the, the game. So I hope you guys don't mind. But let's go. First things first, let's go to the hunter offers. And the way that this game works is... Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, Yozara, you're a hunter now. Still, you're not a hero, real hunter until you have a sweet ride. I mean, you can try rolling into hostile territory without a vehicle, but I don't, don't whine to me when you're dead. I won't be able to whine if I'm dead, but sure, your logic. You know about Junk Mountain, right? Our back behind town. I bet there's a vehicle stole there somewhere. Worth checking out. Anyway, I sure hell, us hell don't need it. I'm fine without a vehicle, thank you very much. Can you stop giving me mixed messages? If you're still alive later, maybe we'll meet again. Meet up again. So yeah, the way this game works is that you're a bounty hunter. You come to the hunter office and you can ask what's the weak target. And you can hunt this specific monster in the open world to get a reward for the week. And as time passes in, in the game, the, the rotation... Jesus, is the volume too loud? I think the volume is a little too loud. Let me just... Just a little bit. Okay. Um, so... Uh, what the fuck was it talking about? Oh, yeah. If you... As the time passes... You got yourself Boba Fett. So, as time passes in the game, uh, the, the rotation changes. So, you have to defeat different types of enemies all the time to get uh, the more money. And there's also the thing called Outlaw, which is basically the bosses of the game. You have a, a wanted poster for it, and you can learn a little bit about it, read a, a little resume, and you can go hunt for it. A monster that lives at Junk Mountain. It's unclear whether it's made of a, a machine, made of scrap, or a living being covered with junk. So... That's the only uh, hints we have right now, where it is. Monster that lives in Junk Mountain, so we have to search on Junk Mountain to to do our shit. Now that we know that, 
Um, we can talk to Grandma. This Grandma always sasses me, so I like to talk to her. No, friend, this, honey. You gotta get out and live life. You can't live it alone. Find some friends you can trust, okay? I'd come along, but my back, you know. <laughs> yeah, sure, Grandma. <laughs> and if you come here with friends, she sasses you anyway, so I find funny. Okay, let's buy some stuff. So, I'm gonna ask you, Kitty, since you're uh, you're you're here early. Do you want me to go the easy route, or do you want me to go the hard route? Welcome this place to buy some equipment. I'm gonna buy some equipment, all right. Um, first of all, I'm gonna buy the, the butterfly, because it's the... Actually, I'm not gonna buy anything yet, because I actually want your hard route. Okay, if we're gonna do the hard route, I'm actually not gonna use um, Misha. Because you can actually leave town, go to the next town, get a friend, and battle the first boss two against one so i'm gonna do the the hard route which is just like by preparing myself <laughs> i mean i'm probably not gonna be sweating in this game because i do low do know a lot where things are in this game but we're gonna see <laughs> qp40 <laughs> isn't ub40 the the band that sang like red red one stay close to me I think it is, right? I don't know a lot about them. Uh, no, I don't remember anything about UB40. It is? Okay, so I do remember actually what it is. Oh yeah, so this guy, this is actually interesting. Um, I'll go back to, to the chat in a sec. This guy is interesting. He collects medals. So all over the world, there's like a lot of medals, something like 120, I don't remember the number. There's a lot of medals that you can find along the world. However, there are some medals that are locked behind certain events. So if you do a certain part of an event, you can't get other medals. So since I'm not gonna be using a guide, I'm not gonna be doing his quest because I don't want, I don't remember which is the route that I have to take. And they sang, uh, I think a girl I want to make you sweat. <laughs> I don't remember the exact title of the song. <laughs> That's funny, uh, but yeah. Around town, there's actually a few equipment that I can find. There's a hidden capsule here, and there's sandals here. And I think I can get Solomon gloves for, for as well. <clears throat> I'm going to take my time with this game because I do want to enjoy it. I, I want to show everything this game has to offer to everyone. There's also these vending machines for, for like equipment, which I always find funny. Um, and there's a chance. Every time you, you buy uh, something, there's a chance the thing in the middle flashes it's basically I'm, I'm gonna buy one and you guys are gonna understand because i actually need a stick on armor if the light stops in the middle you'll get another item for free which is fun <clears throat> um i should go to solomon first i'm gonna talk to solomon i don't know how i'm gonna give him any voices but i'm gonna try look at the size of the look at this dude how am I going to give a voice to this guy? They call me Dr. Solomon. I know I might not look like it, but I used to be a hunter like you until I took an arrow to the knee. Now I research monsters. I used to be a well-known for my uh, monster slaying abilities. Retirement isn't all that cra I, it's cracked up to be, so I decided that maybe I'd catalog monsters and their various special powers and such. But my strength isn't what it used to be. Why, I doubt I couldn't even bench more than 440 pounds nowadays. So, since I can record monster data myself, I was hoping you could. I mean, you're a hunter, right? How about it? Um, sure, ask away. Sure, I'll help. I'm, I'm full of, of yeses today. Thank you so much. You do have a set comp, correct? When you encounter monsters, their data will record automatically. So, I just need you to show me your set comp from time to time. I'm sure... I sure wish we had gadgets like this when I was a hunter. Just find as many monsters as possible for me, okay? Since you agreed to help, I'd like to give you something. It's on the shelf to the right, on the sink. See it? It helped me out a lot back in the hunting days. Good luck. So I hit a wall when it comes to turn-based JRPGs. I used to love them, but since I played so many action RPGs, I can't enjoy turn-based RPGs anymore. How do I find a way back to JRPGs and the love I have for those? Um, I, I know exactly that feeling. And the, I think the answer is not like as easy as you know, A or B. But I feel like, um, OK, 
okay, Salomon Globe. And I feel like the answer that I could give you is probably something like find games that have turn-based RPG style but have more like dynamic to it. Like try playing Secret of Mana, try playing uh, Chrono Trigger, try playing um, Final Fantasy X2. I think Final Fantasy X2 has a little bit of that as well. So yeah, or just games that like don't make it easy for you. I personally like Final Fantasy X a lot because the the fights force you to use the right type of attack to the right type of enemy. Xenoblade 2. I, I've never played that one, but I heard it, it's pretty good too. So yeah, basically Solomon g gave us a, like a, a mission to like skim the the world for for new monsters and every time i find a new monster i can go back and give it to him yeah final fantasy x2 is it's not as good as final fantasy x the story on on final fantasy x is a lot better but the combat on final fantasy x2 is like um dynamic uh basically your speed uh controls how fast your your attack bar charges and you can attack like it's basically corner trigger <clears throat> um okay let's go I love you. You love you, and I actually have to finish Final Fantasy X on stream. I always take long breaks because it does take a toll on my voice because I like um, doing voices for the characters. Oh no, not Final Fantasy X. No, Final Fantasy X has voice acting. I don't know why I took a break from Final Fantasy X. I was I'm, I was getting that game mixed up with another one. So I hear you're a hunter now, kid. Guess you're pretty serious, huh? I know Eddie's probably thrilled, but your mom, not so much. I'm not sure whose side I'm on. There's a... I, I, I'm on there. The world's a tough place. But I guess you've already decided, so not much can be done. I'm proud of you, kid. And, oh, why don't you go see Rachel, hmm? Uh, you don't have any waifus that be Yuna. Yuna's pretty cute. Um... Actually, I used to play um, Final Fantasy X a lot when I was a child. The problem is that the CD, the disc that I had, uh, it just froze after a, a certain point in the game, so I never could finish it. And then I bought the, the remaster. However, I n never finished it on on my own because I wanted to, to stream it. And I got to... I don't remember. I think I got to around the, the, battle, the battle of... Uh, the battle on the beach where sin attacks and then I, my computer my hard drive died and then i lost all my progress and i have to do it again so there's like two series of me playing final fantasy x on on youtube yeah what up kid huh mm, i see yep i get it now you're a hunter right yeah you just became one right huh what is it why the wandering loner look Huh? I didn't think I was glaring. You must have imagined it. Ugh, whatever. The name's Garden, but most people call me the Red Fox. I'm a hunter, like you. Well, not like you, but yeah. Ah, I remember those, that innocent look people have when they start out. Newbies are so cute. I do see the fire in your eyes, though. You're pretty strong one day. <laughs> Okay. Scarlet is weird. I don't really like her that much. Hey, kid! I can show you the robes of being a hunter if you want. By the way, the soundtrack for this game is... Sure, go nuts. Teach me how to do the things. And the menacing walk towards me starts. Smart move. I'll send some advice for Sat come later, okay? I have things to do, so I guess I'll see you later. Take it easy. And I'm gonna menacingly walk away now, cause that's my sh that's my drift. I'm the edge. There we go. She's gone now. Okay. Remember what I was talking about? Look at it. Oh lord, I accidentally clicked out of the game. Uh, Jesus Christ! No, chat died, and I was trying to fix it, and I just clicked out of the the chat and the thing. But look at this sound. Look at this soundtrack. The soundtrack for this game is awesome. Okay, let's try that again, this time without the suck. There's Rachel. I can't do female voices. Hi, Yozura. Are you really a hunter now? What? What are you thinking? 
Being a hunter is dangerous. Why would you want to do that? If something happened to you, I... <laughs> Forget about me. If something happens to you, Nina and Emily would be heartbroken. Do you, do you even consider their feelings? J just promise you'll be careful, okay? Whenever you're in town, you have to come visit your family. And hunters go to bars, right? Then you have to talk to my dad, okay? Just don't worry about me. I'm too busy to talk to you. Ugh, the fucking yandere or tsundere. <laughs> um, what? I thought you were done here. Just go whatever it is that you hunters do. Go! You can also send your gifts to Rachel. Well, that went as well as I expected. What's up, Rachel? What do you, you do if you ever quit being a hunter, Yosura? Ha! I guess you wouldn't think about something so far into the future. Mm, how can I put this? That is, actually... Never mind. I thought I said never mind. Go do your hunter work. I can't waste any more of your time. Jesus Christ, she's so... Tsundere. But yeah, now that we have talked to Rachel, uh, it's important because she's one of the the love interests in the game. So, uh, if you want to like progress the, the love story arc thing in this game, you actually have to do that. But what is my buttons again? No, that's not the button. It's this one. Uh, let's equip the things that we found around city and let's see what we need to to buy. I don't have any helmets. I don't have any vests. I have worked gloves though. I've, I love the soundtrack for this game so much, man. Okay, I'm gonna. Ooh, I have to choose. Uh, you have to choose. I'm gonna choose the cheaper one since it gives the same amount of of value. Okay. What did you guys just ask me? Said come back when you have more money. I just bought shit. Jesus Christ. So yeah, this game doesn't have like a, a straight up storyline, but if you catch the the little hints here and there, you're gonna see that it's a post-apocalyptic apocalyptic world and you can find out about it because of the you know like piles of garbage and everything else this child is important because he trades junk three junk zombies attack me that's a little harsh don't you think don't bother me i'm trying to plan my revenge yeah you seem like you're planning something all right okay let's start the game we're finally on the first dungeon let's go i know i took my time but as i said wait why is the thing not I just think my phone died. <laughs> my phone just died. But yeah, I did say that I wanted to take my time because this game like has all these tiny little things that I love. Okay, now it's working. I need to have chat on my side, otherwise I, I get paranoid. Okay, let me zoom out because um, once I learned that you can zoom out in this game, you can see so much more. There's a rusted piece of junk. Nice. Now I have junk on my inventory. Thank you. Junk is my favorite thing. Do you know the coolest... Do you know what is the coolest is when you play this game? Wait, uh, my brain just didn't grammar there. Do you know what the coolest is when you play this game? Um, what do you mean? What is it? You sound like you're having so much fun and being so happy. I am. Um, thank you for noticing. <laughs> I do love this game a lot. Yay! That was pretty easy. And I got syrup cells. Thing is... There is the vehicle. Like, when you're generally playing with the normal camera, like this, you don't see the buggy. But if you zoom out, you can see the buggy right away. And you know where... Like, approximately... Approximately where it is. I can't words. Words is hard. Okay, more junk. Some parts can be removed. I feel what you feel for Zelda games and Monster Hunter games. Yeah, Zelda games do that for me too. 
Breath of the Wild and the, the original Zelda do this for me. I mean, this one, it, it also not only has the sense of wonder, but it also has the, the no nostalgia factor, so it's a little stronger to me. But I am enjoying playing Breath of the Wild, which I'm going to be playing tomorrow. And I might play the original Zelda, too. Um, I would like to have someone, like, with me to commentate over Zelda. Like, but not many of my friends speak English. So, maybe someday. If Willow is okay with it, maybe he's gonna come play Zelda with me. Oh, speak of the devil? <laughs> Welcome, Willow. Welcome. Nice Dimitrescu you have there, bro. <clears throat> okay, let's go. This is the first scrap zombie. Um... And you're gonna notice, like, first of all, first you're gonna uh, realize that the enemies in this, this game, like, are un absurd with the design. They're all pretty cool. Not only that, <clears throat> you're gonna notice, like, a pattern that every single enemy in this game has, like, a, a little touch of, like, maybe radioactive fallout to them. Because there's not a, a great explanation, but many characters may mention something called the Great Destruction. And... The thing is that you don't know if the Great Destruction was a war, if it was like just like pollution, but something caused the Great Destruction, and then the, the, these monsters starting appearing on the on the land, maybe from radiation, maybe from just like like pure uh, anger. <laughs> oh, Lark, not two of them. Okay. And there goes my protector. And this is what I'm talking about doing the, the hard way. Like, um, when you go outside and you you grab Misha and then you come back in, you don't have to take this damage, basically. Because um, just the fact that you have two people, you can maybe probably kill one of the, the zombies it, like per turn. So it doesn't take that much, that many turns, and I don't take half my, my health against, like, one fighter. <clears throat> but yeah, let's go. Okay, let me heal my HP real quick. But yeah, how you doing, Wolf? I mean, you should be, you should be going to, to the gym soon, right? <clears throat> oh, speaking of which, I finally took the time to change my my channel points, names, and icon. I did this to day more. Oh yeah, I need a vehicle to grab that. Uh, but yeah, I finally changed, and now my channel points have a name and they have the icon. I chose to use the the money icon from um, Harvest Moon, which I thought it would be pretty fun. I'm already live. Why are you telling me to go live? Ah, oh, not this again. Okay. Oh yeah, by the way, you can press L2 to speed up the, the fight. So if you want, I can just do this. But I do like watching the fight um, early on. Because you can die pretty easily. Like later in the game, if you're just grinding, you can do that. Oh, that, it's not tri start. It's triangle. There we go. But yeah, that's two healing capsules already. That's what I'm talking about the the hard way. Now going to 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 the gym today. Wait, your body is dead. What happened, bro? I mean, it's the it's uh, it's it's hump day. I, I get it, but at the same time, you're I maybe because of the the holidays. Oh yeah, there's a a, a chest here that you need a. Uh, the clues you can go to another uh, city later that you can buy the clues for this chest i do know the 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 answer but i don't want to like get it right now because otherwise it would be i would feel like i was cheating oh it's okay bro if you're just not feeling like it i'm i can respect that as long as you're fine i hope you're okay though hope it's not very serious oh man more junk man thank you for missing thank you for sucking actually and he missed me that's wonderful and i do like that everything explodes when you you kill them in this game it's pretty funny i don't think this is the place where i should be going is it um no this is not a place i have to go the other way first 
Because this way is to the boss. Uh, you did some home exercise, so not the best. Ah, oh, okay. If you're doing your, your own thing, it's okay. I mean, I guess losing the rhythm is the, the ultimate um, bad thing. Oh, man. Can I stop facing them already? At least they're doing less damage now. But, like, they're not doing 16. I am doing 19, though. So, it's still... They're doing, like, more overall damage than I am. It did 9 for some reason. And that's a lot of damage. Ooh, nice crit. I mean, I could have, like, easily gotten, like, the, the vehicle first, too. So, yeah. But you're, we're going to learn about vehicles together. It's going to be fun. I should probably heal. Um, I'm getting out of capsules. That's not great. Um, do I have 120? No, I have 30 left. I'm not going to waste 20 HP like that. I can take two more hits. So yeah, I love the, the soundtrack for this game so much. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Like, I even use the, the soundtrack for this game in, like, many of my videos. My end screen is actually... End screen? Yeah. My end screen on, on YouTube videos is actually the, the, the main menu song for this game. Because it's such a wonderful, like, soundtrack. It has, like, the very dynamic, very, like, rocky approach to it but it also has the ambience like it's very memorable to me and it's like one of the first um soundtracks one of the first games that I, I enjoyed the soundtrack as well like eventually it came to like schoolgirls and cuphead and like dark souls all of these big soundtracks but this was the first one i was like damn i love the songs in this game but yeah this is the first tank that we find in the game Oh, damn it, I couldn't I couldn't even interact with it. And it's there. And that's why I can speed up the game for fights that doesn't matter. But yeah, let's go. Look at this heap. It's completely busted. On second inspection, it's still a scrapped vehicle. It's junk, okay? That is not going to change, no matter how many times you look at it. It looks more run down each time you look at it. Staring at trash is kind of a stupid way to waste time. <laughs> Maybe you could use it to build a fort. Nope. Wait. It's just junk. There's nothing hidden in there, so you might as well stop looking. And then it repeats. But I still find it funny to this day that you're like, Oh, tank! And then the game is just like, Nah, fam, I'm not gonna assess you. <laughs> but yeah, let's go. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, look at that. We actually found our, our target. However, the thing about spider tank is that is it has a tendency to, to flee. And also, if you pay attention, the other enemy that we're facing is a uh, knife on a unicycle. <laughs> you can't get more creative than that. <laughs> Yay, we're level 3. Yeah, we actually have access to that, if I'm not mistaken. I can go to SATCOM. Uh, we have Hunt. I have Monster Data. And we can, like, go and see them by clothes. Close. Cycle Cycler. Weakest enemy. It's literally the weakest enemy in the game. It's a knife with an unicycle. On an unicycle. We have Scrap Zombies. Axe Strangely. And after you defeat one, you get info on it so you can defeat more easily. Wonders about. They generally like to run away. And we also defeat the giant slug. You can sell the item it drops. <laughs> nice. But yeah, let's go. Let's keep going because we're... Oh, shit. Do I have... Stop pressing start. Do I have enough healing? I have two more. Okay, things are going to get rough now because we fight the three the three zombies that attack the, the other dude. So hopefully I don't die. Uh, mm, I don't think I can one-shot them. I can. Okay, that's better. Because they have a gun. They got a gun. 
and I already am out of uh, a shield. The way that shields work in this game is that they block... Uh, there are some shields that block a, a certain amount of damage that you would take after all the, 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 the defenses are, are factored in. And there's a shield that um, blocks like attacks from a certain element. That's actually a lot of speed, though. Uh, so, if an enemy does an attack that, after factoring your defense, deals more damage than your shield can take, you take one damage and the shield breaks. So, oh wait, the field. That's okay, I don't think the stabby dude can deal damage to me. It's the weakest enemy. Nice. So, generally, it's good to buy, like, strap-on shields. I'm, I don't want to... I think it's stick-on. I said strap-on now, I feel weird. But it's generally a good idea to, to use them. Because later on, you can trade, like, broken scrap shield for, for like, raw materials. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Why are you sassing me, Willem? And yay, we found the first vehicle in the game. Um, do you guys want to name it? Generally, I just go with the name they, they have in the game because it's the name of the of the, the vehicle they're based on real life. But if you guys want to give it a name, that's a good name, actually. You got McQueen! Nice. Okay, now we have McQueen. I'm going to drive it. Uh, by the way, you just need to, to use the drive command once to, like, settle who is going to use each vehicle. And after that, you can just use, like, hotkeys to get in and out. So you guys don't think it's an absurd game like that. But yeah, uh, you can look at it. Look at it. Look at this vehicle. Look at it, uh, it in all its glory. Like, all its pixelated glory. Like, it's even more pixelated for you guys than it is for me. 